we're either ruining this or like it's gonna be fantastic here in our cloth to keep it oh my gosh Okay, 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 it's going everywhere. I grabbed one that Clay was eating and I like smushed it like this. And he was like, stop that, you're wrecking it. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Carly and if you are new here, I make vegan and gluten-free foods, treats, regular food. I find all the recipes that look good and I try them out so you don't have to. So today I'm going to be making gluten-free tortillas. They look so simple and so amazing. So I have to try them out because y'all know the struggles of finding a good gluten-free tortilla that does not just like cost an arm and a leg. Okay, let's go. We are experimenting. I just bought this psyllium husk. Never used it before, but this is what is used in the recipe. So I picked some up salt oil i have my one to one gluten-free flour which i don't have very much of so we're going to do some of this corn flour i don't know i know it's called corn meal but it's like very it's flour okay y'all so we're gonna do probably hopefully half and half all right step number one we're gonna make our psyllium gel which is going to be the psyllium husk mixed with water so we're going to need five tablespoons Two cups of warm water. I was scared this bowl wasn't going to be big enough and it's honestly almost not big enough. I'm scared. Okay, anyways, this is already becoming a gel so that is perfect. That's what we want. I'm going to set it aside and then we'll put our other ingredients in our bowl. We have one to one gluten free flour and I have like maybe one more tablespoon so i guess this is going to be more the corn flour so this should be interesting it did say in the recipe um you can like add corn flour or other corn or other flours so one cup of one to one gluten-free flour and two cups of our corn flour cornmeal whatever one teaspoon of salt and let's whisk this up and honestly, like, I can't tell the difference between the rice flour. So the one-to-one -one gluten free flour is a rice-based flour. And I would have preferred to just try this recipe with only that to start. However, I know I have all of this. I have that bag and another bag of the corn, the white corn flour. So I figured, well, corn tortillas are very common and I like them. So why not just try using both? I was hoping to do half and half, but obviously that's fine and now we're going to make ourselves a little well so just a little hole in the center here perfection let's get rid of our whisk next up we're going to add our oil so neutral tasting oil one quarter of a cup and then our psyllium gel look at how goopy it's become y'all this is so cool wooden spoon and we're gonna stir it till it becomes a ball i'm so excited for this even if this is more so like a just like a corn tortilla i could be so excited because i bet you fresh tortillas are the best like they're probably so much better than store-bought you know it's really nice it's like not sticky like at all I decided to start kneading it because um you can see there's all this like flour at the bottom the spoon is just not doing it I'm also just terrified that this is going to be too dry but oh we're gonna really put the effort into this okay oh man i don't know if this is has enough liquids in it if i try to roll this out it's just gonna break for sure it's so good but it's also like it will fall apart i think on the edges so i think i'm gonna add like a little bit of oil let's do like half a tablespoon of oil no let's do a whole tablespoon because this is clearly does not have enough moisture and it's so hard, y'all. 
so hard. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. And I don't know if this is something you have to be like quick with, cause this is like Play-Doh, like it is hard. All right, I'm gonna add water. So I have a third cup here. Let's just start with a little bit first because I have no idea how this is going to react to adding straight up water. Seems like a lot. I went from, it was at a third of a cup and I now have a quarter cup left in my measure. So whatever is a quarter cup to a third. We're either ruining this or like, it's gonna be fantastic. Yes, I'm just holding this piece over here because <laughs> it's just too much for the bowl. Okay, so this is my like determining factor. It becomes a ball really nicely, really perfectly. But then if I was to say, try to make it, oopsie, into a round just with my fingers, we're falling apart on the edges. You know, I am debating if I were to roll it out nicely. The edges are okay if they're not like uniform, you know what I mean? But I don't even know if I can roll it thin enough for a tortilla. I think I'm gonna add more water, y'all, cause that actually really helped. So I have like a quarter cup left. Okay, let's try that. Like you can see, it's just so dry in there. I think I'm gonna just start punching it. My arm is getting tired, y'all. Like, tired. And my wrist, disgusting. That corn flour is so absorbing, you guys. This is ridiculous. Let's do our test. We have a ball. It's getting stickier, so I feel like that's a good thing. And when I roll it, it's not breaking. So before, when I was rolling, it was just like breaking like that. Ooh, I think we might be good. Look at how much better that is. I just measured the rest of my water. I had two very generous, very generous tablespoons of water left. I think I could add more, but I'm just gonna try this now and see what happens. I don't even know if this is gonna be big enough. 12 pieces. Mm, I'm feeling like maybe I should have done more water. I am just totally eyeballing the sizes, but they actually seem pretty like the same. I think I like this corn. It's not sticky and gross like regular flour where it's like, like I just made pizza dough the other night and oh my gosh, the amount of flour I had to add, I was like, dude, like am I even getting anywhere? Like it's so sticky all the time and then you have to like use a piece of parchment or something, plastic wrap, just to like flip the dough because it's so fragile at the end. Like I don't like it. I've decided I'm just gonna use a piece of plastic wrap to cover these. Well, sort of cover them because I need my tea towel for when they're done. So I'll just kind of sort of cover them. I have some oil here. I've done this in the past with pizza dough from the local bakery. And I just use a little bit of oil while I'm making them into circles. So I think I might try that with some of these as well. See how it goes. Okay, I'm actually so nervous, you guys. What the heck? So our pan is preheated to like medium. You know, if you spray some water on it, it's gonna be sizzling. It's just plain nonstick pan. Now let's roll them out into nine inch, one mil millimeter thin rounds. It says to dust a lot, but as we can see, we don't need the dust, okay, y'all? I'm not sure where the other handle went. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so this is the first one. I didn't add any oil. This is just rolling it out. We're doing an experiment. And I mean, other than the sides looking horrible, it doesn't look bad. And it's not like I can pick it up as one and it's not like falling apart. Okay, except for where it was like breaking is this. This is where I'm not sure what is one millimeter thick. So we're just gonna go for like very thin, okay? 45 seconds and we'll flip it. It's been about a minute, so I was kind of flipping up the edges. So I'm just going to try to scoot it off here gently and then we'll flip it. Okay. 
So it's supposed to get black and bubbly and stuff like that. So we'll see, cause like I said, it's corn. If you see a corn tortilla, they don't generally do that. They generally look like this. I might just keep flipping it and flipping it and see what happens. Forgot to count, but it's feeling crispy and we're slipping and sliding around. So I'm gonna flip it again. All right, okay. So it looks about the same on this side. So let's see, ooh. We'll leave it on here for another 30 seconds or 45 and just kind of keep flipping. All right, y'all, it's been like a minute and look it, this is kind of bubbling here. Ooh, a bubble. Okay, I'm gonna flip it again. Ooh, it's definitely bubbling, bubbling. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. This one might be more closer to like a non because it is thicker, so let's just keep going. All right, another minute, y'all. And look at the bubbles that are forming. I'm so excited. Let's see, ooh, okay, 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 wait. It's definitely more like non-like. This is probably why you should not cook, keep flipping it and cooking it because now it's just hard, kind of. Okay, y'all, I think I'm gonna call this done. It's so poofy and like not very flexible. I wish I had some hummus. I might just make some hummus up to taste test it. Let's get it off the heat. Into here in our cloth to keep it. Oh my gosh. There we go, in our cloth, cover it up. I did reduce the heat a little because it was too hot, but um, I think that's a good temperature now. I'm going to use some of our oil. Let's grab another bowl. And then I'm just gonna like put a little oil on it, I guess, like just dipping my fingers in. We're just gonna knead it a little bit like this to get the oil incorporated and see what happens. Okay, that's looking better. These edges, y'all, they're not staying together. And we're gonna make this thin. Okay, we're much thinner now, but we can still pick it up. Let's flip it. I waited a little bit longer this time, like maybe more than a minute. Ooh, okay, they're all gonna look the same for sure. You know what? I think because they're corn, it's definitely going to be more like a corn tortilla. I've been trying, experimenting, adding a little bit more oil seems to be able to roll out more in a more uniform circle. However, let me show y'all the last one I did. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it actually looks so good now that I just pulled it out. Like, ooh. Remember to keep them in there, okay guys? Maybe I can try to fix it into more of a circle, I don't know. And I tried to make it extremely thin, like as thin as it'll go. I also will say too, because of the psyllium husk, probably shouldn't eat like all of these. Since there is five tablespoons, you should probably eat like, you know, maybe two or three. I mean, these are small, so probably not the worst thing ever, but it sticks together still. We're not breaking. And when I pick it up, well, I think we have hit the nail on the head. These ones are so consistent. As you can see, I'm literally just two fingers in the oil and then adding it in just a couple times until I feel like we're not as dry and correctly. I will say having, I'll show you guys after, having the, the ones that are waiting to be rolled and cooked in plastic wrap like the moisture is trapped in there and it's keeping them nice and moist that that's definitely something that you have to do not that these are dry but i could see them getting dry and i am thinking about adding something in here so the first one that little ugly one <laughs> i let clay eat it since he just got home and he was putting some tahini on it and he said that it was so good so we have some everything bagel seasoning as well i might just mix it right in I'm just gonna get him to put some of the everything bagel seasoning right in here and I'm gonna mix it in. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know, sure. Okay, 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 okay. it's going everywhere. Cause it's like very garlicky and mm. it smells so good. Look at this, it smells everywhere. A little bird seed. Let's roll this out. What I'm noticing with these, the thinner, the better, the more pliable they are and with cooking only 45 seconds to a minute on each side, okay? Look at how well we'll stick it together. It's a miracle. It's gluten-free, y'all. Clay keeps stealing them, so um, he's made a little quesadilla with one when I was in between cooking the wraps. 
And look at the cheese melt. That's just diet. It looks so good. Did you put something else in there too? No, just cheese. And look at it. I put, I made some tofu egg in there, some cheese, and it's just sticking right to itself. And it like actually folded up really nicely. Mmm. I'm so impressed by these, you guys. Like, we had some scary moments. Okay, I was terrified. These are not gonna work. I know I had to mess with the recipe a bunch. I will also make sure to link the original recipe in the description. I'll definitely be trying this again with just the one-to-one -one gluten-free flour to see how those turn out. I have really high hopes because if these ones turned out so good. The ones that have been sitting in the tea towel the longest, they're like, do you hear that? They are sticking to each other, but like not in a bad way and they're staying so warm. I grabbed one that Clay was eating and I like smushed it like this and he was like, stop that, you're wrecking it. But like, honestly, look at it. It didn't even break, y'all. I'm gonna make sure these are really tightly sealed when I pack them away and keep them in the fridge. And I'm definitely going to be making these again. These are amazing. Clay loved them. I love them too. They're so good. I'm like very highly impressed. Um, if I make them again with corn, I'm obviously gonna like up the water by like probably half a cup. I would much rather them be too wet and need to add extra flour than too dry and like you saw the guy, the dough, you guys. It was so hard to work with. Clay's like, oh, he's already like, can we make some quesadillas out of this? So we might have to make some quesadillas, yeah. So with the texture, they are like a little bit chewy. I just peeled off a little piece. It's a little chewy, which I think is really nice. A wrap should be a little chewy and I was really surprised that it could actually wrap up nicely we'll see how they do overnight since the psyllium says like only you should take two teaspoons two to three times a day i told clay like cannot eat like all of these so they're small but i would make sure if you're not used to psyllium or like in general probably like maybe eat like three or four maybe i mean i did end up making more than 12 because well you know that's just how we do it i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and i can't wait to try these tomorrow and see where they're at if we reheat them just heat them back up in the pan no problem the next day y'all we decided to make some quesadillas um i'm just sloppy and lazy with it but um look at that some beyond some mushrooms spinach diet cheese i'll show y'all clay's after because i'm sure his will be like immaculate but they heated up really nicely and got nice and flexible again and then they're kind of like crisping up on the side Here's Clay's little masterpiece. He cut his into little triangles, so it looks super cute. And I don't, I think he's just has spinach and just meat and cheese. Super excited how well this worked. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.